After striking a new military base deal in the Philippines, the U.S. is making moves to counter China's growing militarization of the Pacific. China's military buildup is astonishing. To some, it's impressive. And it's not showing any signs of slowing down. It's not showing any signs of slowing down. These troops trained for a potential conflict on islands just 100 miles from Taiwan, the self-ruled island that China has threatened to take by force if necessary. And powerful American weapons were tested over the South China Sea, where China's militarized islands are threatening its neighbors. What the U.S. is doing now, we wish it did decades back. But after more than 20 years of Chinese expansion, can the U.S. and its allies successfully change the balance of power in the Pacific? The Philippines, a U.S. treaty ally, lies southeast of mainland China. To its west is the South China Sea, a global shipping route full of natural resources. And to the north is Taiwan, a key U.S. trading partner. Beijing says both Taiwan and much of the sea are part of China and has ramped up its military presence to bolster those claims. How concerned are you with the continued provocation from China? As concerned as you could possibly be. Uh, it is one of the major issues that we have to face. The Philippines' new president, Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr., has leaned into the U.S. after years of a more pro-China policy under his predecessor, Rodrigo Duterte. This year, Washington and Manila struck a major base deal that increased the number of sites the U.S. can use in the Philippines from five to nine under the Enhanced Defense Cooperation Agreement. The new sites bring the U.S. military closer to both Taiwan and the South China Sea. And the deal allows the U.S. to build facilities, position equipment, and rotate troops through the bases. The new sites have angered China, which has accused the U.S. of intentionally stoking regional tensions. One of the phrases that I've heard is, the U.S. could use these bases as staging grounds against China. Is that what they are? I think you could feasibly see that they are, um, but we wouldn't do any of that without the consent of the Philippine government. China is a free and sovereign nation, and as long as they act within the international based rules-based order here in the region, they have plenty of room to operate. Major General Joseph Ryan commands the Army's 25th Infantry Division. We met him on the USS Miguel Keith in the Luzon Strait. The Luzon Strait is a strategic waterway that's a major commercial shipping lane and a key transit point for both the Chinese and U.S. militaries. In the event of a conflict over Taiwan, control of the strait would be critical. Chinese exercises in and around the strait have heightened concerns about a war in the region. And because the U.S. and the Philippines have a mutual defense treaty, the U.S. would be obligated to defend the country if it's attacked. Geography matters. There's certainly a sense that should conflict occur in Taiwan, uh, that the Philippines would be uh, affected. Is the U.S. prepared to fight? Absolutely. And that's what we're doing here. We followed Major General Ryan and his joint unit onto Marine Ospreys and traveled to some of the northernmost islands in the Philippines. The objective of the drill, to secure the area and then expand it, making room for even bigger firepower like this HIMARS, an offensive weapon system that's capable of reaching the southern part of Taiwan from this island. A HIMARS rocket system on the island here could certainly influence not only the land space, but the maritime space beyond just where it sits here on Bosco Island. Along the coast of the South China Sea, the U.S. and Philippine militaries conducted live fires of the HIMARS and other advanced American weapons like Stingers and Patriots, marking a major escalation of the exercises from years past. For years, Beijing has used this so-called nine dash line to roughly outline what it says belongs to China. The dashes are believed to be based on maps used by the Republic of China in 1947. Within those lines, these satellite images show how China has turned reefs into artificial islands and added airstrips, missile silos, and communication towers. That offends Filipinos. It's like you, you always have a dagger pointed at the towards you. General Emmanuel Bautista became the chief of staff of the Philippine Armed Forces in 2013, the year the Philippines took China to court over its contested claims. The Philippines won the landmark case, but China has refused to recognize the ruling. To maintain control, its ships have repeatedly harassed its neighbors' Coast Guard vessels and civilian fishing boats, blocking their passage with larger ships, 
military-grade lasers and even water cannons. China is violating our sovereignty and sovereign rights. And regardless of there is a competition, we have an issue with China in that respect. Polls show most Filipinos support stronger ties with the U.S. to help the country defend its sovereignty. And despite China's warnings not to interfere in the South China Sea, the country is in talks with the U.S. and other Pacific allies like Japan to launch joint patrols later this year. Our goal is peace, security, stability, creating uh, opportunity. It's not to uh, engage in a new Cold War. It's not to contain China. Some experts say it might be too late to change the balance of power in the region. China now has more naval ships, more ICBM launchers, more active service members, and potentially more sophisticated missile capabilities than the U.S. But the U.S. is counting on its alliances in the Pacific to push back. And in recent months, Washington has increased security ties with Japan, Australia, and South Korea. And it has pledged to expedite weapon sales to Taiwan. The asymmetric advantage of our alliances and partnerships in the region is part of what separates us from the PRC, because they don't have that. The relationships. They don't have the relationships. Combat credible forces allied and together win wars. So if conflict happens, I'm confident we're prepared to fight it.